Okay, so we're going to prove that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if and only if its diagonals bisect each other. So we're basically wanting to show that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram if and only if A, P is congruent to P, C and um, B, P is congruent to P, D. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, start the proof. So we know this is an if and only if statement. So we have to do P implies Q first. So we're going to assume ABCD is a parallelogram, right? Okay, so since ABCD is a parallelogram, um, in, the, in a previous video we proved that the opposite sides are equal, right? So this implies, um, for um, more specifically, we want AB is congruent to CD, okay? So we're gonna get uh, this congruent to this, all right? So we have these two are congruent, and we know since ABCD is a parallelogram, we also know, and um, AB is parallel to C. D, right? We know that A, B, and C, D are parallel to each other since this is a parallelogram. All right, well, we know since A, B is parallel to C, D, right? This implies by the alternate interior angle theorem, right? So A, B parallel to C, D, this means that this angle, right, is congruent to this angle, and this angle here is congruent to this angle here. So let's go ahead and get more specific. We know that angle B, um, A, P, let me fix that a little bit, B, A, P is congruent to angle D, C, P, right? B, A, P is congruent to D, C, P. And we know that Angle A B P is congruent to angle C D C D uh, P. So A B P is congruent to a C D P. So basically, this guy's congruent to this guy, and this guy's congruent to this guy. So look at these two triangles. If we consider these two triangles we can see that they're both congruent by the uh, angle side angle congruency postulate, right? And if these two are congruent, then the corresponding sides are congruent, mainly saying that AP is congruent to PC and uh, BP is congruent to PD, showcasing that the diagonals bisect each other, right? So let's go ahead and get going. So let's consider uh, triangle A, P, B, and triangle um, C, P, D, right? We're considering these two triangles here. So we know that angle B, A, P is congruent to um, angle D, C, P. We know that A, B is congruent to C, D, right? A, B, is congruent to CD, and we know that um, ABP is congruent to CDP, right? Angle ABP is congruent to angle um, CDP, and these three things together, so angle side angle, implies that triangle APB is congruent to triangle CPD. And, of course, since we know these two triangles are congruent, that means AP is congruent to PC, and BP is congruent to PD, which is what we wanted to show, right? So, this implies that um, AP is congruent to um, PC, and um, BP is congruent to P, D, right? So that's proving it going this way. Now we have to prove it going the other way, right? So 
I drew another one on the second page. So we're going to do now Q implies P, right? So we're going to assume AP is congruent to PC and um, BP is congruent to PB, right? So we're gonna assume that this guy is congruent to this guy and this guy is congruent to this guy here. So our mission is basically, uh, we want to show that this is a parallelogram and we're gonna do that by showing that the opposite sides are equal to each other. Well, if we can show that the opposite sides of a quadrilateral are equal to each other, then um, we know that the quadrilateral is a parallelogram, right? So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Well, we can look at this triangle APD, triangle APD and triangle BPC. Uh, we can look at this guy here and this guy here. We know those two are congruent by the vertical angle theorem and this guy here and this guy here are congruent by the vertical angle theorem. So by the vertical angle theorem, we know that angle APD is congruent to angle CPB and um, angle APB is congruent to angle CPD, right? We know that APD is congruent to CPB, and we know that APB is congruent to CPD, right? Those opposite angles are congruent, right? So now first we're gonna consider, so consider a triangle APD and triangle um, CPB. So triangle APD and CPB, right? So we know these two triangles are congruent by the side angle side congruency um, postulate, right? So we know that AP, right? AP is congruent to PC. We know that angle APD is congruent to angle CPB, and we know that uh, BP is congruent to PD. So these three things here, right, imply by the side angle side congruency theorem that triangle APD is congruent to triangle CPB. And of course, this implies, this implies that um, AD is congruent to uh, BC, right? AD is congruent to BC. So we're halfway there, right? Now we're gonna consider triangle um, APB and triangle CPD, right? So now consider triangle APB and triangle CPD, right? So we know that AP is congruent to uh, CP, right? AP is congruent to uh, PC, right? CP, PC, same thing. And this time we know that angle APB is congruent to angle CPD, right? So angle APB is congruent to angle CPD. And we know that BP is congruent to PD, right? BP is congruent to uh, PD. And these three things here imply by side angle side congruency postulate that triangle APB is congruent to triangle CPD. And since these two triangles are congruent, right? This triangle is congruent to this triangle that means AB is congruent to CD because those are the corresponding sides. So this implies that AB is congruent to CD. Now we have um, AB congruent to 
CD and uh, AD congruent to BC. So that means the opposite sides of this quadrilateral are congruent or equal. So we know this implies that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, right? So now, this is also another very useful theorem to know. We know that if the diagonals bisect each other within a quadrilateral, then that quadrilateral must be a parallelogram, right? And that is the proof.